Good day and welcome to the Herbert Denard Show. We have two young ladies from the Medical Center of Central Georgia. Donna Nash, she's the, you're the director, director of what? Director of Orthopedics at the Medical Center. And Laurel Police Graham. That's a long name. It's a good name. Okay. <laughs> and what do you do? I'm, the, I'm actually the joint care coordinator for the new program at the Medical Center. I work with Donna. Okay, tell us about the joint care. Uh, you're talking about knee replacement, hip replacements, and things like that? Yes, sir. Okay, what's different now at the Medical Center? I'm glad you asked that question. What we're doing now, we have had a collaborative approach with our physicians and the surgeons that do the surgery. We actually have been with the anesthesiologists, the nurses on the floor, and the OR. Actually, we've gone all the way to the recovery period in the home setting. Everybody's gotten together and talked about what could we possibly do to make the experience better for our patients. Mm -hmm. Through that collaborative approach, we've hit upon um, one of the cutting edge pain medication for our patients to prevent pain. Um, nobody's not going to have any pain, but it's well controlled. Mm -hmm. uh, we've gotten it to the point now that our patients, their first day after surgery, they're now walking 100 feet. By day two, they're walking 200 feet. And by three, day three, some of them are even walking up to 300 feet. This instills a wonderful sense of confidence in the patient so that when they go home, they feel safe and they feel that they're able to get back to their daily living and be safe. What do you do to make people walk so fast after you have put the knife to them? Well, Lori, why don't you explain how they do the different medications? I, I certainly will. Um, Lori, not Laura. It's Lori. Um, it, basically, the, the concept that we use at the medical center, and I, I just want to kind of emphasize that, is this is the cutting edge. This is high tech. This is um, what we're proud of sitting here representing, is that um, you're having what's called a um, lumbar plexus catheter or a peripheral nerve continuous catheter. And the catheter is um, at the incision site or the operative area. And it's kind of, in a, in a layman's term, keeping it numb, ma making mm -hmm. it um, so that you, the pain is not overwhelming. That allows you to collect your thoughts, get together with the physical therapies and start your regimen of exercising. Then to help the, for the first night of surgery, we have an IVPCA, which is a patient-controlled anesthesia machine. Mm -hmm. And then to help get ready for that discharge phase, we, um, the third way that we medicate you is by oral pain medication. And um, we start that the first night so that that is also being used so that when you get ready to be discharged, you know that this is the type of pain medicine that you can take at home. And it's just, as Dawn has pointed out, it's a continuum across the healthcare regimen from the beginning of when your doctor says you're gonna have surgery to home health comes out or to go to rehab. Okay, tell us, we're gonna come right back to that, but tell us exactly what happened when you have the surgery and why so many people are having hip replacement and knee replacement now. Okay, I'll start and then you chime okay. in. Um, the, the biggest thing we kind of have said to each other is that um, the population's getting a little older um, we now have medicine that's keeping your heart strong, uh, diabetes is keeping under control, so your comorbidities are staying stable. Well, the What's that term again? The comorbidities. Comorbidities. And those are you like, heard that, David? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. And, and those are like your health care issues. Okay. Okay? I don't want to say problems because we want them under control, but it's okay. like your heart, um, congestive heart failure. Well, now your foundation, which is your skeletal system, is starting to wear out. Think about this as a teacher. If you've stood up for 25 years on concrete, your knees are your knees are going to show some wear and tear. Um, and so the technology has made it so that it's not a eight-month process as it was, or it's not a year long. It's in and out. Now the the recuperation of it is it, you know is ongoing, but it is not the long drawn out process. What do they do with the knee? They cut into the knee, and they take something out, or they clean something up, and they put some metal or something in? Yeah, it Donna? That's correct. Donna, like that's the song, Richie Ballard. <laughs> that's right. That's, that's okay. right. Go ahead. Um, they actually go in and make an incision. Um, it's from the top of the knee down to the bottom of the knee. 
They simply move the kneecap to the side. They move those tendons and ligaments very carefully out of the way. The doctor can actually see, um, they've already seen this from their MRIs and from the x-rays, you see the degenerative changes on the bone from the arthritis, and it's usually those arthritic changes that start wearing away at those capsules, the um, articulating capsules that is mm -hmm. cushioning those bones. Mm -hmm. When that articulating cartilage is worn away and it's bone on top of bone, the arthritis is so bad that that's the time that usually uh, they go to joint replacement. That's when it's hurting so much when you're walking. Yes, sir. When you're and hurting so much that it's time to do something about that pain. You've already gone the route of trying exercises. You've tried to lose some weight. For each pound of weight that you carry that's over your ideal body weight, you exert four pounds of pressure on that joint. So just by losing weight, it helps to decrease the pain. Um, sometimes just um, pull therapy or, or walking can help increase your motion. Um, but when it gets to the point that you can't simply do your living day to day, that's the time that you consider um, going to your physician and the physician referring you to an orthopedic surgeon. Mm -hmm. The orthopedic surgeon is excellent. He does a very comprehensive evaluation. They look at x-rays. They look at your lifestyle. Um, he actually manipulates your leg and moves it to see are you able to have that function, what is your angle of flexion and of extending your, your limbs. When you no longer have that ability, it's the time that they decide it is time to do surgery. After they actually take you to the OR and they make the incision, like I said, they move that cat kneecap out of the way and the ligaments and the tendons. Mm -hmm. They actually go in and remove the diseased bone, the part that's so arthritic that it gives you the pain. They have implants, and the implants are different types of material. It can be okay. porcelain, it can be uh, titanium. There's a brand new one called tribeculum titanium. Tribeculum, that sounds interesting. It's very interesting, it's cutting edge. The metal is actually a lattice work that they put into your femur and to the bones above and below. The bone, the, they're called osteoclasts. They actually grow in through that lattice of the uh, metal, mm -hmm. and it's very, very strong. Um, those go into your, your um, bones, uh, simply sews you back up, puts your staples on. Then we put something called um, an ice machine on your leg to keep the swelling down. It is also gives you great comfort to decrease that pain. Um, we also have a very innovative uh, device that we use to get your own blood back after surgery. By going into the bone, that's where you make your um, blood cells at, the bone marrow, that's mm -hmm. where you make blood cells. So you do tend to have some blood loss. This drain actually recaptures your blood cells and so we're able to reinfuse your own blood that was used, that was lost during surgery. They take your, the blood that you lost, they take it and they give it back to you? Yes, sir. So there's no complications at all. How long this whole process takes in your knee? Um, the surgery itself is several hours. The recovery Two, three, period, four? Two to three, depending on the patient. Uh, the recovery process is very individual, depending on how healthy you were prior to having surgery. Um, we've had such success stories. We have a young lady who's now one of our volunteers, um, was wheelchair bound, and she's now ambulatory and walks. It is a necessary um, surgery to restore your quality of life when you said it, when you can't go any longer and you have that chronic pain. We are there to take care of it. So you could be in and out for knee surgery, hip surgery. In around three days. Yes, That's sir. correct. Appreciate you stopping by and we'll and be right back. I appreciate the opportunity.